Welcome to Lansing Catholic's Corks and Cuisine at Home Edition. I'm Father Paul, and you know, it's really too bad that we have to do things this way. Such a huge part of our Lansing Catholic High School community is being able to gather together in person in order to celebrate who we are as Lansing Catholic Cougars. And yet, Another incredibly important aspect of what it means to be part of Lansing Catholic is this adaptability, which we've seen time and again with our students from the academic careers to the sports seasons uh, to the concerts and the plays. Everything has been changing in this very strange pandemic landscape. Likewise, our Corks and Cuisine this year is being forced to change, and I'm so grateful for our incredible outpouring of support and generosity from folks just like you uh, that make our Lansing Catholic Cougar Nation uh, such a wonderful place to be. So to say that this year's been a bit crazy is a little bit of an understatement. But I think, you know, one of the things that's really given us the opportunity to do is to be thankful for so many of the things that we often take for granted. You know, whether that be the ability to attend Mass or receive the sacraments or just the little things like shake hands and see people smile and, and see everyone's faces. So I think it's been a great opportunity to kind of learn to appreciate those things we've taken for granted. And, you know, as the new president, uh, for those of you that don't know me, my name is Dominic Ioko, and I've only been here since July of this year. And coming from the outside, one of the things that's really remarkable is the community that is Lansing Catholic. I think that's another one of those things that we take for granted if we're not careful about how great and how amazing this, this whole community really is. Um, and so I think, you know, th this is a great opportunity to remember that it's those little things that we often overlook that we should be especially thankful for this year. Uh, and it was interesting, you know, coming back to school for the students, uh, they were excited to be here, you know. Normally the end of summer break isn't something you look forward to, uh, but this year, you know, students were overwhelmingly excited to be back and be in person. Uh, and so that's why I think it's great that this year's Corks and Cuisine is focused on transforming this space here, the cafeteria. Uh, because we've really realized how important that social aspect of the learning environment is. And so I think this is a great opportunity to, to take advantage of that ability to help build that social connection uh, around the dinner table where, where students can become friends and get to know each other better. So I think this is an awesome opportunity to continue to build our amazing community that is Lansing Catholic. Thank you, Bill and Kim Hoffnagel. Thank you, Pat and Jennifer Gillespie. Thank you, Jim and Kelly Richards. Thank you, Maureen and Ted Buddha. <laughs> Thank you, Sam and Jessica Ad. I'm a sophomore and I enjoy Lansing Catholic because of the community. I'm in a discipleship faith group in the mornings on Thursdays and it's really great because I get to pray with some of my friends and other kids that I may not know from the school and we get to sort of like grow in our faith and get to know Father Paul and learn different prayer techniques so that we can find one that really works for us and we can um, really grow in our faith. My favorite part is um, being able to meet new people. I love that I can do things like this, like be an ambassador and meet new people and um, maybe some incoming freshmen who might be scared or feel like they're not gonna find any friends, like let them know that it's okay and there's a lot of people who are going to make sure that you feel welcomed. Um, and I love that I can make videos like this and show like what a good school Lansing Catholic really is. Even though I came from a smaller school with a smaller student body, going into this bigger school with a bigger student body, and I thought that it was very nice to know that people were willing to be friends with me and to make that connection that I didn't know that they could make. My favorite part of life at Lansing Catholic is all the, whether it be sporting events or plays or dances or whatever, there's always someone supporting you, whether it be parents or teachers or staff, you're gonna get supported with your passions. I enjoy how there's always something fun going on, whether it be school games or we have pep rallies or house events or something, there's always something going on that keeps up the good school spirit. Yeah, the cafeteria definitely needs to be renovated because um, all the tables and chairs are super outdated and it's really dark and everything just needs to be like, opened up. 
I definitely think it would be good to go with the library and especially because of how many events we hold there, such as like dances, banquets, and just everyday eating there because it's the cafeteria. And I think it would benefit everyone. I think renovating the cafeteria is important because it allows the color scheme and the flow of the new library into the cafeteria. At Lansing Catholic, we're big on implementing community and I feel adding more furniture to effectively use the space will allow us to flourish the community aspect of Lansing Catholic. I love the community and the people and I also love the staff. Just I feel very welcomed and I transferred in halfway through my freshman year and within the first week I had amazing friends and a really good group of girls and, and boys that I hung out with and I just was always really thankful for that, that they just welcomed me with open arms and I feel like the whole community is that way. Thank you, Dr. Chris Abood. Thank you, Melissa Eide. Okay. Thank you, Sam and Judith Eide. Thank you, the Dean family. Thank you, Rabbitoh family and Impact Solutions. When thinking about forming disciples, I often reflect on the role of the good, the beautiful, and the true. While the greatest good in our Lansing Catholic community is the community between students, faculty, families, and the broader community members, the beauty that we find in our spaces is truly what revolutionizes the Lansing Catholic educational experience. It goes even before our outstanding library re renovations to the chapel. The chapel as the heart and center of our spiritual formation is absolutely gorgeous and beautiful and in the future we look to even improve upon that beauty. But then you think about the intellectual formation. That's where our library renovation came in and it has revolutionized how our students think and learn that beautifully lit, inviting aesthetic space opens the mind to opportunities and advantages and growth. I myself experienced it just the other day. I happened to be in there for an after school uh, all faculty meeting and I sat down at one of the chairs and it was so beautifully warm, well lit, comfortable. I was able to knock through a bunch of things on my to-do list, and I'm sure that our students have that same experience when they're in there to work, but also for Rojinka. I've seen great community bonding in that space. The circular um, tall top tables and the benches, the couches, are perfect for small group discussions. And even again, as a faculty, we had one of those the other day. We've used it for meetings on tuition and financial aid. It's become a hub, but we need more. We need more beauty because we've talked about the spiritual and the intellectual, but the social life is just as important to forming disciples as are those two other arms. This is where the cafeteria comes in. It is a joy right now during COVID to see how our students have adapted to the spacing and to the mask wearing and to doing all these extra things that we're asking them to do. But adding that, added, that additional level of beauty and charm and light to the cafeteria will take that social feeling, that community feeling, to a new level for our students, but not just our students, our team dinners, our parent meetings, all of the wonderful opportunities we have for volunteerism would be vastly improved by an, a welcoming community meeting space, which is what the cafeteria will become. Through your generosity and contributions to the Lansing Catholic community, we have come so far and have seen such tremendous growth and the smiles of our faces, which I imagine underneath the masks every day, are an evidence to this. The fact that we're able to be here in person and use these beautiful spaces is not quantifiable. Those benefits on a student education and formation cannot be numbered. As we continue to build and grow the Lansing Catholic community, these beautiful spaces will make us unique and truly a gem among Catholic education here in the Lansing area. Again, I thank you, our students thank you, and I look forward to working with you as we continue to build this community. Thank you, Melling family. Thank you, Mr. and Mrs. James Beergens and family. Thank you, Doubting Industries. Thank you, Pete and Stephanie Kramer and the Kramer Management Group. Thank you to Dr. Matt and Paula Wilcox. Hello, Lansing Catholic. This is Jennifer Gillespie, class of 88 coming at you live from our great school. Although uncertain times have forced us to change our venue, make no mistake, with your support, we're making it happen. Regardless of everything going on around us today, one thing remains very clear, the overwhelming continued support 
for our school from our wonderful Catholic community. I want to thank everyone that has given so generously already. We have donations from current families, future families, alumni families, grandparents, and a community that believes in a tradition of success of Catholic education. Thank you all very much for your continued support of Lansing Catholic. Thank you to Innovera and the Jim Baker family. Thank you to Rick and Suzanne and the Lash family. Thank you to Greg and Chrissy Brogan. Thank you, Renew Tool. Thank you to the Bill and Mary Lou Somerville family. Thank you for participating in our unique Corks and Cuisine event this year. I am Tracy Real, parent of two Lansing Catholic students, Anna and Garrett, and co-chair of Corks and Cuisine with Jen Gillespie this year. We have been blessed with an amazing development director, Paula Wilcox, who has helped guide our hard working committee to bring a renovated cafeteria to our students. We are overwhelmed with gratitude for the commitment of this administration, the students, and our Catholic community. This year, Lansing Catholic celebrates its 50th anniversary. As you can imagine, over the course of 50 years, there's room for a little bit of improvement. Remember, it is with your shared commitment that makes Corks and Cuisine a success. If you would still like to give, go to the Handbid app or LansingCatholic.org website to donate. On behalf of our entire committee, we thank you. Thank you to our presenting sponsor. Thank you to our five-star sponsors. Thank you to our platinum sponsors. to our gold plate sponsors. Thank you to our silver spoon sponsors.
calling and you're saving and you're something craving for more than jesus heal us keep us free us and you're jesus and you're jesus only jesus light it up come shine that light light it up come shine that light light it up come shine that light